Hi guys, welcome to my channel .NET Gyan India. Today in this video I am going to show you how to use Langchain uh, library for uh, using a Gemini model. Uh, so let's start the implementation. So first uh, you need to uh, uh, have a editor like uh, Visual Studio Code so that uh, Visual Studio in that Visual Studio Code we will going to uh, program our uh, line chain example so let's uh, for we need to install uh, line chain line chain library of Google uh, Gen, Gen AI uh, first so we will install the library with command pip install langchain hyphen google hyphen gen ai so it will install uh, this library in the machine enter it so let it install it is installed now so now what we will do is we will uh, create one file here in this folder in line chain folder in line chain folder so click on this new file and give name to your uh, line chain python file dot py okay so in that uh, in this uh, py file we will first import the library for uh, line chain so for that you need to write from and then line chain underscore google underscore gen ai and then import sorry import google from this we need to import uh, chat google generative ai okay the import is done uh, now we need just one variable to uh, hold the input string uh, and api key so we will first uh, create api key variable in this we need to have a api key for uh, the gemini ai so for that you just need to go to AI studio dot google dot com so in this uh, you you need to uh, use your google uh, gmail account uh, by using gmail account you can log into the AI studio and then you can create your key so click on the get api api key if already you if you already have then you can use it or you can create a new api key so i will create a new api key here so so i already have a one project i will select that project and create api key copying the api key and now i will assign that api key to this variable so api key variable is done another variable we need to have is input string so i will uh, take uh, input from user for that i will declare the variable here now so we need to uh, create one instance of the chat google uh, generative ai so for that what i will do is i will i will create one variable lm is equal to and this 
so this is the uh, class which uh, i will going to initialize and we can uh, provide uh, different parameters to this class object so for that we need to for basic uses we need to have a model name so for that we need to select the named parameter model and then we need to enter because uh, we are using Gemini uh, hyphen pro for uh, this example so we will type Gemini hyphen pro in small then we need to provide a API key okay so for that uh, we just uh, need to use a named parameter Google API key and in that API uh, parameter we need to pass API key variable which we have already created okay so the LLM object is created now what we'll do is we will take a uh, user input <coughs> using the input uh, method of uh, Python so for that uh, what we'll do is I will uh, I will make it interactive so that uh, user can query multiple uh, prompts and get the answer for that uh, I will use while loop so type while and then I just uh, going to check the how uh, to what extent this while loop will uh, run uh, not equal to input so if user uh, sorry not equal to exit sorry exit if uh, user uh, enters the exit and uh, would enter and then uh, this application will exit so now in while you just press a tab then uh, you need to check that uh, the user has uh, entered the valid input for that also we need to check the validation not equal to blank if not equal not equal to call the LLM method so for that I will create a one uh, local variable and in that we uh, will store the LLM output LLM dot invoke method we will call okay invoke, invoke method and in that uh, we will uh, we will send the prompt sorry uh, the colon is missing okay. uh, in that input method uh, input string str variable will be passed so that the user input will be passed to invoke method and invoke method will return the output llm output in this result method and we will then uh, print this uh, L result so that user can see that so for that we will use the print method in that we will pass the result dot content okay so this if is done now what we'll do is we will take a input also so for that input string we'll use the input str and in that we will use the input method to get the input from the user in that we will say that press sorry enter exit exit to quit to, to exit the app or enter prompt okay so we'll do a colon and i think the application is built so what i will do is i will run this application now uh, for that uh, i just need to enter one command python sorry and space then uh, you need to type a file name which we need to invoke dot py so for for me the langchain dot py the file name is there so i'll just enter Uh, I think there is some problem
I think the file name might be uh, conflicting. Uh, so let's rename this file name. Example. Let's try it again. Yes, the application uh, runs successfully. Now I will uh, uh, put a prompt. What is the feature of Sun? Let's see what will what the uh, output will return by LLM Gemini AI. Yes, uh, the LLM given a uh, response so it given a, a different different feature uh, and its uh, explanation magnetic field other features okay what about earth so you can user can enter uh, the prompt one by one if he wants to get more interactive with the LLM model yes so now uh, the LLM given the feature of earth so this way you can uh, use the Langchain Langchain uh, package to interact with the Gemini AI model so if you like the video, please uh, subscribe and hit the like button also. Thank you.